Good morning. In this video, we will see a possible use of uh, US Air Force resolution targets for testing binoculars. In particular, we will see two different uh, binoculars. And uh, the first will be the Canon 14 by 32 IS in comparison with Canon, the, the old one, 10 by uh, 30 IS. And uh, in particular, we will use a setup like this, in which uh, I will uh, put uh, a, a Celestron Nex YZ uh, mounted on the binocular, and then a, a smartphone, in particular an old Samsung S5, just to, to get uh, the data. Uh, in particular, uh, this is the, the view uh, with the naked eye, and here we can see uh, a video recorded directly with uh, the 14 by 32 then uh, we will we can start it here there is no stabilization uh, if you compare with the previous image you can see that uh, it is of course a very little part this uh, has been registered in 4k uh, 100 iso please note that now uh, i have uh, put on the powered IS system and um, you can see uh, easily that uh, there is uh, some rolling shutter the rolling shutter is due to the mobile phone of course the video is in 4k is also enlarged here again no stabilization uh, please note that the smartphone stabilization is off of course this is again the powered IS uh, the 14 by 32 has two different systems for stabilization. Please note that the 14 by 32 uh, has a, a little exit pupil, and uh, this, uh, at least in my case, uh, well compensates my astigmatism. This is the second uh, system for stabilization, the general IS. In my opinion, the powered IS is better, slightly better, but uh, there is not uh, a very big difference. Okay, so uh, just to show what is uh, the possible result, but uh, mm, uh, now I would like to show you something better, and in particular I would like to show you some result with uh, the US Air Force targets. Okay, a very brief uh, summary. Uh, suppose, just to start, uh, that uh, we would like to measure the, the angle uh, of the moon uh, seen uh, from, uh, from the Earth. Since the moon is 3,500 kilometers and since we are at uh, 384,000 kilometers, the angle alpha is given by this formula, a cotangent of these two, and the result is, uh, as known, 30 uh, uh, prime of arc. Uh, let's uh, do a similar experiment to do the test of the binocular. We can put the binocular and at 9 meters, it was of course I decided by myself, here there is the target. Okay, The target is the Edmund Optics 36275 and uh, uh, here there is the Canon and then uh, the Samsung S5 uh, mounted on it. On the back there is the NLID and uh, some tracing paper to, to make the light diffuse. Uh, just to show you, this is uh, the, the target, and you can see that this is what we can see from some distance. Okay. Now, if you see on the back on, of the box, you can see here that for each group so for each, uh, for example, the one, the group one, one one in particular, uh, you see here two, where two means two cycles per millimeter. Okay, so this means that the group one one, you see that this is minus two, minus one, one is uh, inside here, okay? So this is, for example, minus one, one, minus one, two, minus one, three, minus one, and so on, okay? 
Okay, so suppose now to use uh, the uh, group 1 1 and 1 1 from the table on the back on the box uh, but also on the data sheets has two cycles per millimeter. This means four lines per millimeter and this means that one line is 0 0.25 millimeter of thickness. So this is a quarter of millimeter. Okay, seen from 9 meter, so 9000 millimeter. Uh, the angle alpha is this one multiplied by 3600 it gives 5.73 uh, arc seconds okay the group 1 2 gives uh, an alpha of 5.11 arc seconds and the group 1 3 gives alpha of 4.55 uh, arc seconds okay Please note that the front, uh, the front length of the binocular is about 30 mm, so the, the resolution power is around uh, 4, uh, 4 uh, arc seconds by, from a theoretical point of view. Uh, okay, now uh, around, of course, it's not exactly. Uh, so now we can see the results of this approach. Please note that we will compare the 14 by 32 IS and the 10 by 13, 32 this one, 30 uh, IS, not the, the second model, the first model, okay? Okay, so we can move to the videos just to show uh, the final results. So let's start with the uh, 14 by 32. And then we will see very briefly the movie, okay? Um, please note that the stabilization is uh, very good to excellent, but of course in this case it's extremely difficult because it is moving uh, and there is a, a lot of uh, uh, additional uh, weight due to the, um, to the support, okay? But generally speaking, uh, this is the left eyepiece, Okay, and we can see, for example, that the, as I told you, this is group one, one. So one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six. Okay, so if you see these lines, this means that the resolution is 5.7. If you see this one, this means that the resolution is 4 by 0.5. The 1.4, this one, is about 4 arc seconds. Okay. So this is the left eyepiece, this is the right eyepiece, just to show that they are basically the same. Okay, we can run it again. Okay, and now just to, to see some, uh, okay, again you can see one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, and maybe also one, five. So, this means that we can get four arc seconds quite uh, correctly, okay? Now, the comparison, we have already seen this and also this. This uh, was the original, uh, and uh, this is the uh, 1030. And uh, you can see that in, with the 1030, the resolution is less, of course. We can, for example, put here just to see what uh, is the result. Okay, maybe you can see that there are no particular differences. So the 5.7 is okay, 5.1 so-so. So this means that basically that the, the 1030 uh, has, of course, less resolution than the uh, 1432, mainly because of the, the, the reduced enlargement. Uh, the stabilization of the 14 is uh, much better, even if it is difficult to see from uh, this uh, video. Uh, from the chromatic point of view, the, um, the 1030 is uh, better, because the 1432 has a slightly ma more uh, chromatic aberration. Uh, of course, the 1432 uh, works better uh, from, from the point of view of enlargement. And, uh, for example, uh, with the, the 14 uh, enlargement, you can see much better the, the ring, uh, the Saturn's ring, and also Jupiter satellites. 
but uh, of course there is not a particular improvement. Uh, probably the, the most important improvement with the 14 is uh, due to uh, the stabilization that is uh, very, very good. Thank you.